Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a spline path for your thinking particles. So let's get started. Let's create a shape. I'm going to use a cone and change it to C plus and make it editable. Let's now create a null object. Select this null object, go to simulate, thinking particles, thinking particle settings, channels. Inside these channels, select vector and click add. Right click on the null, cinema 4D tags, expresso. Inside this Expresso, right click, new node, thinking particles, TP generator, P storm. Right click again, new node, thinking particles, TP initiator, P pause. Let's now create a path. I'm going to use a helix. You can use anything that you want. Make it editable. Add your spline path to the expressor. Click on the red rectangle and select object. Let's right click, new node, expresso, general, spline. Connect this spline node to your spline path. Right click, new node, thinking particles, TP standard, P set data. Connect this set data to the PPAS. Take the position of this ply node and connect it to the set data position. Right click, new node, thinking particles, TP helper, get data. Connect this to the PPAS and take the edge right here. Connect this edge to the offset of your spline. And let's see what we have. Select your spline path, your spline nodes, your set data, and the get data. Hold down control or command and drag it up to create a duplicate. Let's delete these wires and these ports. Right click. New node, express, calculate, math. Go inside this math and change the data type to vector. Select the position of this line node and connect this to the input node. Select the second input and connect it to the get data position. Connect the set data to the PPAS. Take the output of this math and connect it to the vector of the set data.
let's hold some control and drag this mask to create the duplicate. Let's now go to this get data and create a vector. Take this vector and connect it to the second input and take this blind position and connect it to the first. Take the output and connect it to the set data position. Make sure we connect this get data. And let's see what we have. Okay. We need some shapes to see the particles. Let's go to simulate thinking particles particle geometry. Right click inside the Expresso, new node, thinking particles, TP standard B shape. Put your shape right here and connect the P shape to the P pass. Let's see, we have geometry. Alright. Let's right click over here, new node, thinking particles, TP condition, BH. Connect this H to the P pass and to the set data on. And let's see what we have. Let's adjust. Let's arrange this, uh, let's move this one and this one, let's move this over here. And finally this right over here. Let's right click right here, new notes, Expresso, calculate math, go inside this math and select type time take the input tool and type 0 0.05 and take the input one and type a uh, four and right click over here new node expresso calculate range mapper Let's go inside this range mapper and clamp lower and upper. Go to the get data and take the edge to the input of the range mapper. Take this mat and connect it to input upper. Let's see. Uh, we need we need to connect this range mapper to the offset. So let's take the output and connect it to the offset. And let's see right now. Okay, we have a better path. Let's now select these two mats, go to function and change add to subtract. And let's see one more time. That's better. Okay. Let's move a little bit right here. Right click. New node. Expresso. General. Pawn. Connect this point to your spline path object and connect the point position to the piston in middle position. Let's see again. We 
um, our path. Let's make some adjustments. Let's go inside Expresso. Move it over here. Right click, new node, thinking particles, TP standard, B align. Connect this alignment to the P path. Click on the blue rectangle and select axis. Connect this axis to this spline tangent. go inside this alignment and change the type to user direction that's it okay let's change the life a little bit for this piston You can also change the count. Let's move right over here, go to the range mapper, if you hold down control and click the create points, these splines can control the movement of your particles. Let's take a look. We can change the shape like this. Reset. You can also slow down your particles using this method. Let's see what we have right now. They are slow. If you look closely, you will see that you have some intersections like these ones. To fix this, we need to go to Particle Geometry, right click, Simulation Tag, Rigid Body. Go to Collision and change Apply Tag to Children and All. Go to the Force tab and type 10 to the position and rotation and let's see one more time okay now we have zero intersection Now we can create a new path to test. Let me use this formula. I'm going to make some changes. The plane. And make it editable. Now I can go inside this Expresso and find my path, which is this and this, and change it to a new path, like this. And let's see. Okay. 
and that's it you have a patch for your particles I hope you find this video useful and happy holidays.